run into people on a regular basis who dispute with us about our assertion and our belief that Jesus is God, that Jesus is in fact our creator, the one true God. They'll say things like, well, it says right there in John chapter 4 that God is spirit. And the implication being, I suppose, that a spirit cannot manifest in any physical form. And it, once again, like so many things of religion and theology and all these traditions of men, it always serves to diminish God. It always diminishes God. Angels are spirit beings. They can manifest in a physical form. But God can't. God can't do that. You see that? We're individuals. You and I, we were made in His image and likeness. We have a likeness to Him. And one of those things we have that is like Him is our individuality. But oh no, God is not an individual. You are. You are. You're an individual. But God is not. God can't be an individual because God is what my doctrine says he is and he will be who I say he is. He is what my theology says he is. That's why I worry for these people because they will fight. They will fight. And I have been filled with the Spirit and just things coming out of me that I could not in any way come up with and I know it was the Spirit of God. And they will fight to even Resist considering that God might be an individual. Because they never consider the implications of, of what they're saying. Like I just said, God is a spirit. So obviously he cannot manifest like his angels can. He can't do that. Or they might mention God dwells in unapproachable light. How could the one who dwells in unapproachable light... Well, does Jesus, you believe he's part or third or half or 10% or whatever you think he is of God didn't he dwell in unapproachable light before he came here how great a leap is it that God himself the God himself that dwells in approachable light came here because God made it clear when he was here that he was still in heaven it says he came down from heaven it doesn't say he left heaven John 3.13, in case you want to see that, also in John chapter 6, he says it several times. He came down from heaven. Paul said it in 1 Corinthians 15. The second man is the Lord from heaven. The first man was of the earth, earthy. The second man was a life-giving spirit. The man was a life-giving spirit. I don't know, maybe people get tired of me drumming on this or beating this drum. But if you don't get this, you don't have nothing. You have absolutely nothing. Zero. If you don't know the person of your God, you don't know anything. You don't. You know religion, you know doctrine, you know theology, which is nothing. It is nothing. Because to know, to know the truth is to know a person. If you don't know him, you don't know the truth. And you can know all kinds of so-called truths and never know him. Because you don't know the person, the individual. Because if God is not an individual, there is no such thing as individuality. There isn't. There can't be. Because all the true things, all the good things... All the things that are virtuous are first with Him. They begin with Him. And He allows us to share in them. Whether it's in the relational sense, whether it's virtues like truth and love and acceptance and mercy and kindness and patience and all those things. It all starts with Him. So if God is not any of those things, then they don't exist. They don't exist, up to and including individuality. 
So that's why we're so big on it here. Because if you don't believe that, you don't really believe him. If you don't believe that he's an individual, you really don't believe him. And your life will always be constantly chasing after the next truth. The next understanding that's going to give you some peace. And you get a little peace here for a minute and then it all just fades away. Until you come to the next and then the next and then the next and the next. Because it all begins at his person. Unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. That's what Jesus said. You got to believe that he is. He is what? He is the one. The only one. In Jesus name. Amen.